Hey guys, it's Momo. I'm back with another video. I'm shaking the table, the camera's on. Uh, okay. I'm outside, because it's nice. But, this is a very exciting video <laughs> for me. As we all know, I love, I love Percy Jackson, and I love Rick Riordan and his books. But I've never read Magnus Chase. So, I, uh, there's a bug. <laughs> so I did a thing. I am doing a readathon collab thing with another amazing cosplayer, TikTok, YouTube person. Uh, oh god, I'm awkward, okay. Um, <laughs> Eddie, or you guys might know him as End Cause. I will try to link stuff down there somewhere. But, we're doing a Magnus Chase collab thing. So this is gonna be my first in a lot of Magnus Chase videos. Uh, so I'm just gonna tell you guys, I guess, my initial thoughts on this series first, and my questions, and my little theories. Um, before I get started, I just wanna say that there are going to be minor spoilers for Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, the Sword of Summer in this video. So, you've been warned. Okay. I keep shaking the table. Okay. So, I literally have notes on this, by the way. So, like, I'm looking at my computer right now because I wrote notes for this. And the first thing that I have on here... Confusing mythology. Um... So, I went into Percy Jackson Heroes of Olympus knowing... A fair amount of Greek, of like Greco-Roman mythology, because I really enjoy Greek mythology, so I knew quite a bit about it going into the book, but, um, I've seen the Thor movies. That's, that's kind of it. That's all, that's the only background I had going into Magnus Chase, and I thought, it, at first, the mythology is very confusing, you know, you have like, nine worlds, this world tree. A giant squirrel. There's just a lot of pieces and confusing names that I can't say either. So if I try to pronounce something, I'm probably saying it very, very wrong. Um, Valhalla. What? Because when I say the first thing, that I said about this book when I, I read, like, the first sentence. And I was like, wait, so the Greeks get a summer camp, but the Norse kids need to die? What? That was my first thought of this book, was, why do they have to die? But now that I know what Valhalla is, it makes sense. And they call it Hotel Valhalla, because it's kind of set up like a hotel. And what Valhalla is... If you die, heroically, and selflessly, in battle with said weapon in hand, you will go to, if you have ties to the Norse gods, maybe, I think, you will go to Valhalla, which is where Odin's chosen warriors end up to fight in Ragnarok. Now, Ragnarok is pretty much the end of everything. Uh, Magnus. Just Magnus. I think- Oh, I spelled character wrong. Go me. My brother came outside. Uh, Magnus's character. I love him so much. <laughs> like... He is sarcastic and witty and just no filter on this kid at all. Like, we thought Percy didn't have a filter. I mean, obviously Percy doesn't have a filter, but Magnus is so new and no one has said anything about, like, don't talk bad about the gods. So he just, like, whatever he thinks, he just says it. Whatever he thinks, he just blurts it out and heard that hearth and blitz are just like magnus shut up that's pretty much the entire book so far whenever magnus opens his mouth 
they have a different next thing I have on the list is a different mist because in the book they call it glamour and it seems relatively easy to manipulate because we know that the Greek and Roman mist not everyone can manipulate it you have to learn how to do that you have to be taught how to Manipulate it like when Talia does the snap in Westover Hall in the Titan's Curse. And Hazel being told she can manipulate the mist. And then we see that in the fight with Skyron on the cliff thingy with her and Jason. We see that. Um, cause the sword before you get the Sword of Summer, like before Magnus gets it back, he has this sword from Valhalla, and instead of carrying a sword around, he's told to put it on his belt, like the sheath in his belt. And Hearth just makes it look like a little chain on his jeans. They, like, how, like, why is their mist so much easier to manipulate? I just, I, I want to know. Sam. I love Sam. At first, I have, like, Sam, then it says, like, good with a question mark and bad with a question mark, because Sam is a daughter of Loki. And they don't like Loki at this present moment in time, because... And now the wind is making noises. Great. They don't like Loki at this point in time, because he has a lot to do with Ragnarok, and people are trying to start Ragnarok earlier than it should so not everyone trusted sam and we didn't really know if sam was good or bad but we know that she's good now she's she's kind of with magnus and hotel valhalla in this fight not with her dad which is a good thing oh i have annabeth was wrong so if you don't already know annabeth and magnus are cousins and magnus kind of showed up his own funeral this poor girl has been at two funerals where the person it is for has shown up my god um because he was looking for the sword they didn't find it there long story short but annabeth kept saying oh i know a place where that can help you i know somewhere you, that you can go magnus blah 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 so she thinks that Magnus is Greek. They don't know about the Norse thing yet. They don't know about the sword. She doesn't know any of this yet. Which Annabeth hasn't come back into it, but I have a feeling she's going to? Because she's Annabeth and we all love her and pretty much any book that Rick puts her in, we will read. So I think she comes back. Uh, Hearth and Blit is what I have next. I'm just reading down a list. This is such a boring video. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Hearth and Blitz are sort of like the equivalent of like the protector that we had with Grover. How like he like watched Percy at school like making sure he was okay and everything. Hearth and Blitz pretended to be homeless with Magnus for two years to look out for this kid. And to keep him alive. But we see how that went. Because. Valhalla. <laughs> I really love this book. Oh my god. It's so good. Okay. Reading death. From. Like reading a death. From Magnus's perspective. And it was his death. Um. It was interesting. Because I've never read a death from that person's perspective. Because. That's not something that usually happens. Like, when a character dies, it's not from their perspective if the book is changing perspectives. It's never from the person who's dying's perspective. It's always from someone else's perspective. Um, it was uh, it was weird to read because the next chapter it was Valhalla, and he's like, what the hell? I thought it, I thought it was pretty cool to read it from his perspective because we kind of know how he felt. He's like, I have to... I have to defeat this guy, I have to, the sword, the sword, like, all of that. It was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot to read, personally. 
Magnus's powers. Um, Norse Bill Solace. <laughs> um, so far we we have a Norse Will Solace now, cause he, he's a healer. He's healed people. We don't know how he does it. And he had like the burst of like light, I guess you could call it, when they were like doing the fighting in the arena in Valhalla which we haven't seen again yet, nor has been explained yet, so we'll see where that goes. But, um, Will Solace vibes from the powers. I mean, we love that. I'm screaming because the wind, so many trees. Ugh. Okay. Uh, I lost my spot. Children of Loki. Is there more? Is it just Sam? Is Loki supposed to have children? Because of the whole... Mm, I forgot it. The thing that... I don't, I forgot what the gods did to Loki and I don't even have the book to look. Um, it's okay. Is Loki supposed to have children? Um, is he not supposed to have children? Now I know Alex Ferio <laughs> exists. I haven't met him yet because I don't think he's in the Sword of Summer, but... How do we meet him or them or she? I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> like, when do we meet them? And are there more children of Loki out there than just Alex and Sam? Do children of Loki have powers? Loki's very manipulative. Can children of Loki charm speak? I want to know, can they charm speak? I just want to know. The dreams with Loki, okay. So when you die in Valhalla, you, as long as you die in Valhalla, you can come back. Now, the two times that Magnus has died, He's had an encounter with Loki. Now, Loki's like telling him things, but they're not bad things. It's not like being manipulated by Kronos, like in the Percy Jackson series. He's just telling him things about Ragnarok and everything. They're not your usual demigod freak out dreams that we're used to seeing, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I feel like Loki's dropping hints that I haven't picked up on yet, but... Valkyries. That's all I have written down. Valkyries. Um... I don't like that Captain of the Valkyries chick, but I don't think anyone does. Sam's great. She's currently not a Valkyrie. There is a giant spider on the side of my house. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Sam was badass. Okay, Sam was extremely badass as a Valkyrie. She's still badass, even though she's not a Valkyrie. I like them. They're great. They're pretty cool. Uh, Floor 19! All the Floor 19 people! Um, I love Mallory so much. I love her a lot. TJ is very wholesome. I love him. I love all of Floor 19 already. They're great. We love them. Um, how do they get back to Valhalla? After the whole quest that they're on? Like, how do they... we have the world tree and they've been traveling between worlds but like is valhalla a place or is valhalla a world because there's only nine worlds i don't know it's not been explicitly said anywhere um i think the rest of it oh no okay i have two more which is i just wrote loki with a question mark 
I don't know what that means, but I think it's probably because, like, Loki, um, in some myths, he's okay, I know that, and in some, he's very against the gods and Asgard and all of that. Is Loki manipulating Magnus? Probably. Like, if he's our main bad guy, and Loki's very manipulative, as we've seen so far. That could be something. With, you know, Al Alex, oh my god, wrong, wrong character. Magnus being kind of manipulated by Loki, which I feel like it's something we're gonna see because The plot is clearly going to revolve around not starting Ragnarok. I'm excited to see where it goes. I just want to keep reading more. They are, I'm over halfway through the book, but it's a lot. There's so much going on at once. Ugh, I love it. That's all I have to say. I love it. <laughs> well, um... I hope you guys enjoyed my list of things about Magnus James. Um, there's going to be a lot of Magnus Chase content, I guess. I hope you like it. Subscribe, that'd be nice. You could do that. But that's kind of all I have for you guys this week. So, uh, bye.